brain and spinal cord. This week is all about your brain, that wonderful complex thing that's sitting in your brain, in your head that controls so many of your functions. The human brain, while weighing on average about three pounds, is able to simultaneously process billions of pieces of information in seconds flat, it's not even seconds, in milliseconds flat. It is continuously receiving sensory input from sensory receptors and initiating motor output to control effectors. So it takes in the information, it processes the information, and then it sends the information out to wherever it needs to go into the body in order to elicit a response. This organ allows us to understand complex information. It allows us to write poetry. It allows us to compute mathematical problems. It's just this really amazing, amazing organ. The brain, which is part of the central nervous system or the CNS, is associated with 12 pairs of cranial nerves, which are also part of the peripheral nervous system, which we'll discuss a little bit later, or the PNS. The brain and the cranial nerves are going to be described in this particular unit. So you're going to look at how the brain is divided, the different parts of the brain from the cerebrum to the cerebellum to the brainstem, what each of these functions do. You'll look at how the cere cerebrum is further divided. So what is the responsibility of the frontal lobe? What is the responsibility of the occipital lobe? And hopefully by learning these particular areas, you'll understand that if, an, you know, if you are in an accident and you have a concussion in the front part of your brain in the frontal lobe, you will understand, okay, this is what's going to happen, how I'm going to be impaired because I've damaged maybe this part of the brain. You will look at the 12 pairs of cranial nerves, and you will also look at the spinal cord. How is the spinal cord organized? How is the tissue arranged? Um, what does it function? What do the different spinal nerves do in order to um, transmit information that the brain is sending to other parts of the body? So you'll really be looking at how the brain, the brain structure and function, the spinal cord structure and function, and how the two of them work together to transmit information. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, have a fantastic week.